Hey guys, so I just got this. It's a Victron uh, solar charge controller. Uh, MPPT, 150 uh, volts, 70 amps. Anyway, uh, I thought people might wanna see an unboxing video, see what you get. Uh, I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, let's let's see what comes to the box. I ordered this on Amazon, by the way. It came in at uh, just under $600. So yeah, let's see what we get. Okay, here comes the unboxing. Um... Tape is, uh, it looks, the box is kind of surprisingly weak. Feels like it's almost already been opened or at least beaten up a little bit. Uh, and here we go. Wow, not much actually in this unboxing. Uh, some Victron Energy. Looks like it's just a list of products they make, all of which are very expensive, uh, but some of which are very good. Um, here's a user manual. It's got every language, what, English, uh, I think it's Netherlands, France, Germ French, German, Spanish, and I don't know what SE is. Interesting, what could SE be? Looks like some sort of Flemish or something. Anyway, cool, and then this is it. <laughs> wow, so okay, there's not much to unbox here. Um, this thing is pretty big. Uh, if you look at my hand, right, it's pretty large. It's heavy. I think it weighs I think 5 kg, it says. Um, really exciting, though, to see. Really, really cool. Um, so this is the Smart Solar Charge Controller. Uh, there's like a blue solar as well. Smart Solar comes with built-in Bluetooth. That was really important to me because I just, I knew I was going to, I knew I was going to, uh, to need Bluetooth. I'm gonna control all this with Bluetooth. I don't really wanna bother with all the other forms of connection. Bluetooth is just so much more efficient and so easy. So I spent a little bit money on the Bluetooth version. Uh, this is obviously where your battery terminals are gonna go in. This is where your um, solar panels power is gonna go in. Uh, you've got VE Direct down here. Um, you've got your relay, so for normally open, normally close and uh, C, so that's the central. So this always gets wired in. And if it's a normally open relay, this is what you'd use. If it's a normally closed relay, this is what you use. And I don't know about this remote. This is uh, wired into itself. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's some way to remote turn this on and off um, using that. Otherwise, uh, heats, massive heat sink, heat sink on the back. Pretty cool. Um, some mounting screw, mounting holes right here but absolutely um, no mounting equipment in the box of any kind. Uh, and uh, interestingly, it's got a little ground symbol on here, so I guess you wanna ground this. Um, I have to look into that, but it looks like there's a grounding screw right there. So you probably wanna hook this up to run a grounding wire to that in case there's some sort of fault. Uh, internally. Uh, I haven't gotten for the display option. I don't see the point. I'm just gonna do everything on Bluetooth. Um, but I will say this, I mean, Victron is the most expensive. Everyone knows it's most expensive, but everyone seems to want to use it. I want to use it because it's A, reliable. B, it has built-in Bluetooth. C, it's completely customizable. So I want to, you know, I don't want to use all the capacity on my cells. I only want to use about 90 or even 80% of the capacity. I, plus the, the life of the cells is going to last so much longer using um, using that middle 80% rather than using the whole 100%. And so because of that, you know, this is just so perfect in that, in the sense that I can just customize all that so easily. I'm not buying something from China where I have to futz with a really complicated app that's hard to read and, and it's, it's difficult. Um, I know that these are reliable. I know it's going to take me two or three minutes to set up the Bluetooth and customize these completely. Uh, and on top of that, it's going to keep, keep track of so much data. For example, how much I'm charging, all that stuff. Um, I don't even see the need to sort of get any dongle or anything that's gonna tell me the, the the voltage or anything in my battery. I can just look everything up directly through this. On top of that, um, I might end up getting the um, wireless um, temperature remote. I believe there's a temperature sensor inside of here. Uh, I'll confirm that when I'm setting this all up. I'm definitely gonna do a video where I set this up. Uh, but I believe there's a temperature sensor inside of here, but you definitely want a, defi a separate temperature sensor for the batteries themselves if they're gonna be an environment where they could go below zero. Uh, below zero Celsius or below freezing Fahrenheit. Um, and what's also really neat is that you can set up this relay. So um, 
I have an inverter that should shut down automatically uh, at whatever preset voltage I set, which is really handy. So it means I won't over discharge the batteries. I can set it off, for example, right at 48 volts exactly for, via the inverter. Um, and I, I'm also gonna have a BMS on my battery. So my BMS should also shut things down if they get too low on the battery. But I could also have a third redundancy. I could set up a relay on this and this will connect to the relay and that relay could control uh, total access to the battery. So the solar charge controller could uh, disconnect other sources of access to the battery if I wanted to um, using this relay control. So that's a really, really handy thing to have. This relay, you know, I can, I can do, do all the settings on the relay in here via Bluetooth, just wire up a relay, and then now I could disconnect the inverter if I needed to, um, maybe because the inverter broke or something like that. So anyway, this is probably the most boring unboxing video of all time, because there's almost nothing, uh, nothing in the box except the charge controller and a manual and a slight ad. But, if you're wondering about Victron, this is what you're gonna get. I think it's awesome. Uh, I recommend getting on Amazon. I looked at prices all over. Amazon was super competitive with uh, everybody else. Uh, and on top of that, I, I'm a Prime member and I got automatic one day shipping. I literally ordered this less than 24 hours ago and uh, it's already in my house. So I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, shoot me any questions. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, probably won't be setting this up for a few weeks. Probably in early April, this will get set up. But uh, I'm very, very excited.